video of a Detroit bus driver who just died of COVID-19 is going viral. Jason Hargrove posted it two weeks ago after encountering a woman on his bus who was openly coughing, exposing him and other passengers. It is now a stark reminder of how easily people can contract this virus and how easily it can turn fatal. Some bus drivers now calling for a sick out or work stoppage. Jim Kurtzner, live downtown at Eastern Market with this video. It is disturbing, Jim, and how the mayor is responding. Yeah, Glenda, this is gut-wrenching, it's heartbreaking, but it really does drive the point home that we all need to be safe. This is one DDOT bus driver, and this is now, sadly, his living legacy. But listen, man, let me say something. <clears throat> He's sweating and clearing his throat through a life-and-death message posted almost two weeks ago. This coronavirus <laughs> for real. And we out here as public workers doing our job, trying to make an honest living to take care of our families. Pictures of DDOT buses are on the Facebook page of Jason Hargrove. Says a woman in her late 50s or 60s got on his bus and was coughing without any regard for him and several other passengers. And cough several times without covering up your mouth. And you know that we in the middle of a pandemic. That lets, that, that, that lets me know that some folks don't care, utterly don't give a f excuse my language, but that's how I feel right about now. Bus Drivers Union President Glenn Tolbert tells 7 Action News he's emotional. He's trying to make sense of this after getting the call about Jason's passing last night from Jason's wife. Seven other drivers have tested positive. 100 drivers are in quarantine. They have a total of 530 drivers. Some saying they're not safe, even with cleaning. They want a work stoppage. I don't know how you can watch it and not tear up. He knew his life was being put in jeopardy, even though he was going to work for the citizens of Detroit every day, by somebody who just didn't care. Jason Hargrove was pleading with people to live to stay safe, to stay healthy. He didn't know that just 12 days later, his voice would be silenced. For us to get through this and get over this, man, y'all need to take serious. It's folks dying from this. Listen, it's folks dying out here. Who knew that that would be the living legacy. Now, DDOT bus drivers did stage a one-day walkout back on March the 17th. That's when the city changed procedures, allowing passengers to board only through the back door and ride for free. Mayor also telling us this afternoon the city is looking at being more aggressive with people who do not follow safety procedures. Live downtown, Jim Kirsten, 7 Action News. Hopefully, Jim, people will see his face, remember, and take heed. Detroit's